welcome back to lunch and learn i hope you guys are having an amazing week the month of october has literally flown by so yeah with that being said um we're gonna keep this going probably for the next few weeks um when vlogmas starts we're gonna have a different type of study that we're going to be doing so please be looking forward to that that will be starting for the month of december on the fridays so yeah still we're still gonna be doing bible study but it's gonna have a little bit of a twist and it's going to be amazing so please stay tuned look forward to it and come back for those lessons let us stop and pray amen thank you lord for your goodness and your mercy thank you jesus for another opportunity to study your word please lord uh, let your word go forth and do a work in us lord that you have sent it out to do and let it bring forth fruit to salvation in jesus name we pray amen and we're going to be talking about breaking off situations so yes breaking off situations our scripture is taken from jeremiah chapter 23 verse 29 i'm looking down because my notes are in front of me so and it says is not my word like fire that consumes all that cannot endure the test says the lord and like a hammer that breaks the most stubborn rock in pieces amen is not my word like fire that consumes all that cannot endure the test says the lord and like a hammer that breaks the most stubborn rock in pieces amen when the lord brought this subject to my mind one of the first things that we think of or that i think of let me say was different situations in my life that i have been asking the lord to remove um you know i i've done the paul Thing and I have prayed and sought the Lord for it and in many situations I would say he has answered me by saying his grace is sufficient for me so and when he says that to me I trust him I don't ask for it anymore because he's answered so like a child who will go to their parent and ask for something once the parent has answered you they don't expect you to keep asking hoping for a different answer they've already answered you so the lord being my heavenly father i tell myself he knowing what is best for me um if he's answered me i take it at face value and i thank him for his answer i thank him for acknowledging my faith and my request and i thank him for answering but there are some other things some very stubborn areas that we need to have broken we literally have been praying seeking the lord fasting digging through his word for answers and imploring him to give us breakthrough and for one reason or another we just don't feel like it's happening and sometimes our answers or our situations are like spiritually encased in rock and the lord has to break them by his might and his power so we are going to be talking about that today those things that need to break Take a minute to think about any issue, any situation in your life that you know needs to break. Something that has been so stubborn, something that no matter how much you pray, it seems like this thing will not budge. We are going to be asking the Lord, I want you guys for the next week to focus on that situation, that thing, that need, whatever it is, and ask the Lord to use his hammer, the hammer of his word, to break in pieces whatever the situation it is either to break it apart to destroy it to demolish it to break it open to uncover it whatever you feel like you need in this situation clearing his word it's not you asking him to take out a hammer and smash a situation it's he said his word is like a hammer so know that by using his word you now have access to that weapon to that hammer you are going to take that hammer and you are going to smash whatever that situation is. You are going to start going through your Bible. I don't know how you guys um, use your Bible. As for me, at my house, let me say as for me. Sorry, I use this as a bookmark. Yes, I know what it says. Okay, and no, it doesn't say anything bad. It's from a pack of extensions, okay? So, I don't know about you guys, but for me, I highlight in my Bible, I write in my Bible, I put post-its and papers and all this stuff, notes, everything in my Bible. I don't, this is a new Bible, so it 
it, it's coming along slowly but surely but my colors all have a reason so if the situation that you are seeking the lord about this week this difficult situation the situation that you feel like just will not break or budge is something that you know you feel like the lord has made a promise to you and you're waiting for that promise to be revealed you're waiting for that promise to be fulfilled you're waiting for it to come to pass start to dig through the word of god and start to declare promises those who trust in the lord are like mount zion which cannot be shaken but endures forever amen lord jesus i trust in you i am like mount zion i cannot be shaken lord i abide forever i will endure forever by your strength by your might by my trust in you lord your word says that those who sow in tears will reap with songs of joy amen in the name of jesus i declare that in this situation i may be sowing in tears right now as i stand before you but in jesus name and according to your word you said i am going to reap with songs of joy and lord make haste make haste to answer make haste oh god to bring forth your word to bring it to pass in the name of jesus and you start declaring the word of god it's so important that we be acquainted with the word of god because if i hand you this hammer and you do not know how to swing it you do not know how to use it, it's not going to be effective to you no matter how many words are in it if you don't know how to pray those words, how to use those words, where those words are, if you don't know what those words say and what those words mean, ask the Lord to open your, the eyes of your understanding so that you will understand his word, so that you can use his word. The Bible says that his word is a sword. He wants you to be able to use it to fight against every evil, every wickedness, every enemy of your faith. You need to be able to use the word of God effectively. Amen. So I want you guys to remember that pray about it pray about it until you see change don't beg we are not beggars we have a heavenly father we do not have to beg as children of the most high god but pray consistently pray fervently hit that hammer against that situation against that problem against that need against that stronghold until you see it break the word of god is powerful it is quick it is sharp it is active. It is able to do what you need it to do. Whenever we pray at the beginning of our sessions, what do we say? We ask the Lord to let his word fulfill whatever he sent it out to do. The word of God says that when he sends his word out to accomplish something, it won't return to him without doing what he sent it to do. So I encourage you guys, take out this hammer. This week as we're going forward, we are going forward in faith and we are already victorious. Believe it. As you pray the word of God and as you go after that situation, believe that the word of God is already going ahead of you and it's already accomplishing the work of the Lord for you in that situation. Continue to smash it until you see that diamond beneath the rough. It is there. Your promise is there. Your answer is there. Your deliverance is there. Whatever you need is there. Bringing these lunch and learns to you for the next few weeks, every Friday, just about at noon Eastern Standard Time. So please click the bell notification so you know whenever we upload. And with that being said, remember you are too blessed to be stressed. Take care and God bless. Bye.